very well. Today we are going to start a new chapter. Before starting the chapter, let's see one thing. Okay. Do you know what is this? Yes, it's an apple. Now I am going to divide this apple into two equal parts. Look here. Now what is this part called? Can you say? Yes. One of this part is called half. Half means it's a fraction. Again, if I cut this half again, what it is called? It's a quarter. We will call it quarter. That is one fourth part. You can see here. So, we are going to start the new chapter, fractions. Chapter 6. Okay. So, let's see what's a fraction. Here, we have written that half. 1 by 2. That 1 represents the numerator and 2 represents the denominator. That means 1 out of 2 parts. So total we have 2 parts. That 2 will be written in the denominator. And the 1 part which we have selected, it will be in the numerator. And we will say it as 1 by 2. Now all of you are familiar with pizza. Okay. And if now we are going to divide a pizza into different parts, how we will call it? Just see. Okay, it's a pizza. If I'm going to divide, it will do two parts. Okay, and this shaded portion, it is called one by two. That is one out of two parts. Again, I'm dividing this pizza into four equal parts. And if I'm selecting one part, it is called 1 by 4. That is 1 out of 4 parts. Again, if I am selecting 2 parts, it is called 2 by 4. It is same as 1 by 2 and it is said 2 out of 4 parts. Again, if I am selecting 3 parts, it is called 3 by 4. That means total we have 4 parts among these four parts, we have selected three parts. So the parts which we have selected will come on the top. That is in the numerator. And the total number of parts which we have will come in the bottom. That is denominator. So three is the numerator and four is the denominator of this fraction three by four. That is also called three out of four parts. If I am selecting the whole thing. That means there are 4 parts and I am selecting all the 4 parts. So it will be called 4 by 4. It is a, equal to 1. That is the whole thing is there. Again, if I am dividing this pizza into 8 equal parts and selecting 4. It is called 4 by 8. It will be 1 by 2. Equal to 1 by 2. That is 4 out of 8 parts. Again the same 8 pieces. I can from this 8 pieces I can select 2. So it is called 2 by 8 and which will be equal to 1 by 4. Here also we have 8 equal pieces and among these 8 equal pieces we have selected 2. So the total will be every time in the denominator and the parts which we have selected will be in the numerator. So it is 2 by 8 and this 2 by 8 after simplification will become 1 by 4. Now, the same 8 parts, I am from this same 8 parts, I am selecting 6 parts. You can count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, I have selected 6 parts. So, it will be written as 6 by 8. And after simplification, it will become 3 by 4. Okay, now come to the main topic fraction. Fraction is a part of a whole. Okay, we can say that fraction, a fraction is a part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. Okay. Now, we have different, we have different types of fractions. First one, like fraction. Second one, unlike fraction. Then unit fraction, proper fraction, improper fraction. 
Okay, first we will start with like fractions. Like fractions are fractions which have same denominators. You can see here. Fractions which have same denominators are called like fractions. 2 by 8, 3 by 8, 5 by 8 and 7 by 8. All these four fractions have the same denominator 8. So these fractions are called like fractions. Next, unlike fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. So their denominators may vary. You can see here, 1 by 4, 2 by 6 and 3 by 5. All the three fractions have different denominators. That type of fractions are called unlike fractions. Next, unit fractions. Fractions in which one is there in the numerator. They are called unit fractions. You can see a fraction whose numerator is 1 is called a unit fraction. 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 5, all are its examples. Okay. Next, proper fraction. A fraction in which numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. 3 by 5, 4 by 7. Here, 3 is less than 5. So, this is a proper fraction. Here, 4 by 7. Here, 4 is less than 7. These types of fractions are called proper fraction. Next, improper fractions. Improper fractions are fractions where numerator is greater than the denominator. You can see here, example 5 by 2. Here 5 is a numerator and 5 is greater than the denominator 2. So, this fraction is called an improper fraction. Then, 8 by 6. Here also, 8 is a numerator. 8 is greater than this 6. 6 is the denominator. Okay. Hope all of you understood now what a fraction is. Okay. What we studied today? We studied about fraction, different types of fraction. What are fraction types we studied? Like fractions, unlike fractions, unit fractions, proper fraction and improper fraction.